Johnny Snow back in the building. And anybody that's been on my channel know that I love my Dracos. All right. So, you know, what I'm going to do is open up. Well, actually, I'm not going to open up another Draco box because you guys have seen the Draco box time and time again. They give you a big ass box. So we're not even going to take it out of the box. I'm just going to show it to you. But, you know, before I show it to you, let me show you this one. This is my mini Draco WAS wood twerks. I call this the Vader build. All right. This is uh, one of my favorite Dracos that I've made. You know, so that is the Draco mini, mini Draco Vader build. All right. This is the micro Draco. Micro Draco. This has Kalashna Carver wood on it. All right. Haven't assigned the name to this one yet. Uh, hit me in the comments. Tell me what I should call this bill right here. You know, this is the Micro Draco. And here, not too long ago, I picked up the Draco 9S. All right. And when I was trying to decide what Draco to build, I asked everybody, do they want me to build the 9S or the Micro Visca? And, you know, it was kind of even. So I decided to just go ahead and get both. So we getting ready check out this micro vista all right here is the micro vista all right and i must say this is that this actually feels smaller than the romanian micro draco all right and uh the thing is, is that this Draco right here is American made. All three of these were made in Romania. This is American made. I know Visca stands for Vermont stamping and I'm not sure what the KA stands for. So hit me in the comments. Tell me what that KA mean because I don't know. But Visca, V-S-K-A. And here, let's see if you guys can see that. They got Draco stamped on the side right there. So, you know, I guess they want to, you know, go ahead and solidify the fact that it is a Draco. All right, it's a Draco. Now, the Visca has a few differences than the Romanian, all right? And um, one of them, of course, is this funky-looking handguard, which... Anybody that has looked at my channel knows that this handguard is not about to stay. All right, this handguard gone. And the Visca also has a very nice US palm hand grip on here. I mean, I I like the texturing on that. I I mean, I actually like the way it looks and it actually feels real good, but of course, you know it's leaving as well. Matter of fact, Hit me in the comments. Does anybody want this grip? Does anybody want this hand guard? You know, just hit me. Let me know if that's something you guys want. You know, I might might have to ship that out to people because I got a parts bin full of Draco furniture. I need a lot of Draco furniture just sitting in the parts bin. But uh, hit me up. Let me know if you guys want that. And another cool thing about this, though, is this rail this is not a plastic rail this is a metal rail and i like how it sits on there it, it kind of puts you in the mind of the mini barrel you know which is a polish made um five five six pistol and it is an ak platform five five six pistol hit me up let me know if you want me to build one of them you know what i'm saying because i think a lot of people be sleeping on that uh mini barrel you know, which is a, you know, a, a relative of the mini jack. And the mini jack is awesome. It's the same size as a full size NAC um, um, 9 and a full size Draco C. But the thing is that the, the mini jacks, um, they they have, well, not all of them. See, that's, that's where I got caught up at. Some of the mini jacks have a mill receiver in they're pretty awesome. They're pretty awesome. Let me know if y'all want to see the mini jack and the mini barrel on this channel. If so, then I'll go ahead and build one of them as well. Now, let's go to some of the other differences that we have on the micro visca. We have 
an extended finger plate on the safety. And we have a Fat Boy mag release right there. Fat Boy mag release on this one. And, you know, I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. We'll see if American made can compete with Romanian built. All right. We will see. We will see. And, you know, I, there's a lot of things on here that I like. And the main thing that I don't like is this handguard. I do not like this handguard. But, like I say, some people might like it. So, Hit me in the comments. Tell me if y'all want it because I'm taking it off. I am taking it off. And I'm probably going to go ahead and change this trigger out. Uh, here, let me show you on my other micro. This micro used to have a binary trigger on it. And um, now I have the Hyperfire Mark III on this. And the reason I took the binary off is because shooting this thing without a brace with a binary trigger is dangerous in my opinion but you know a i can hold it and i can keep it steady but i did not like it i did not like shooting this thing with the binary trigger so i changed it out for the hyper fire mark three which is an awesome trigger two and a half pound trigger so you know it it goes boom very good so and this one as you see, I've done a few things. I polished the bolt and uh, changed the trigger out, of course, put a different safety on it and put Kalash in the Carver wood with the Damage Industries blast shield on here. And, you know, that is a very, very, very fun gun to shoot. Very, very, very fun gun to shoot. So, you know, I, I, I have big expectations for this one. And like I said, this feels smaller than this one. I, I may be wrong, but it does feel like it is a small. Matter of fact, hold on. Let's sit them on. Let's see. Ah, it's the same size. It just feels smaller. It is the same size. It is. It, hold on. Let me make sure that that's lined up good. It is eh, maybe, maybe a nice same size. I mean, I'm not even gonna stress my brain trying to figure that out right now. But yeah, this just feels smaller, and maybe it's just because of the way the foregrip is and everything. It just gives a smaller feel. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. All right. So one thing you guys know, yeah, that is that. I never leave these on here, you know, so let me go ahead and do something to that right now. Let me see if I can find me a, there we go. Let me go ahead and take this thing off. You have the pin that you have to depress and, I don't know, it was a little tight, not real tight, but it's a little tight. Let's take this off. Yes, you do turn counterclockwise to tighten, clockwise to loosen. So, boom, let's take that off. And here we go. We have a J Mac Customs LAF 14. LAF 14. And yes, I know. Um, put this on a lot of my weapons that's because i like the j mac laf 14 i like the j mac laf 14 so that's why you see this a lot when you see me doing my weapons all right there we go and let's see if you can see that we have the pin and j mac has a little notch in there to Keep it in battery. So, boom. There we go. We have the JMAC LAF-14 on the Micro Visca. And I got some wood being made for this. And I also have wood being made for this guy. 
the Draco 9S. This is a nine millimeter Draco and this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different for the for the piece that I'm gonna put on the front of there because it's a nine millimeter. There's no point in putting a J Mac on a nine mil, in my opinion. I have one on one of my nine mils. I have a, a J Mac on my um my Strybog, but you know, I, I, I think I want to do something a little bit different on that one and go ahead and just yeah, you know, switch it up just a little bit, but I'm not switching this up because this is gonna stay with the J Mac. Stay with the J Mac. So you guys definitely have to hit that like and that subscribe so you can follow the journey that I take these songs. Take this. This is gonna this is one right here. Uh actually, this is gonna be the Jabba Bill. J-A-B-B-A, -B -B -A, fat green lizard from uh was it Tantooine? Hit me in the comments. Tell me if I'm telling you the wrong planet. I think it's Tantooine. But yeah, this is going to be the Jabba Bill right here. You know what I mean? Because it's fat, stubby, and all that. So I feel that this would be a good name for this one. So that gives you any indication on the direction I'm going in. Tell me what you think is going to happen to this gun. All right. Like I said, hit that like, that subscribe. So you can follow the journey that I take these weapons on. Make sure you hit them notifications so you get notified every time I drop a video. Johnny Snow up out of here.